Greetings and salutations to you people of the interwebs and welcome to this week's edition of Transformer of the Week where I'm going to be looking at this guy. This is Power of the Primes Legends Class Beach Coma. So after last night's debacle it's time to get back to focusing on the positives. Legends Class Indeed, and this is a legend-worthy Transformers figure. Let me tell you, there's some things Hasbro does right, and this, this is where it is. So he's Beachcomber. He's a lovely, lovely little blue June buggy. His wheel trims. They are painted. He rolls really well. He's got a lovely... Tampographed Autobot symbol there it does suffer slightly from being split in half because of transformation. Um, there's all kinds of Robot Man bits on the underside of the June buggy, but hopefully we won't be looking at that very much. There's a gap at the back. Yeah, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? It's got this lovely grey painted back there with just some silver details. Not sure what they are. Are they engines? Are they landmines? <laughs> Don't go dropping landmines, Beachcomber, not in your uh, state of mind. <laughs> he was like the Transformers stoner, wasn't he? He was always the hippie guy. And every uh, civil war that um, has lasted a billion years needs a bit of a pacifist character. And this was Beachcomber, man. That's what I like. Yeah, man. Yeah. We won. Classic. Classic character and classic mold. So, yeah. It rolls. It does things. Um, he can interact with the Prime Masters as they are now. So, if we open that up, you get your little man. Sit him in there. Close the roll bar back up. And then um, Vector Prime can roll around in Beachcomber because the card I got, my Beachcomber is Vector Beachcomber, in which he time travels to prevent extinction level events <laughs> with his skills of geology. <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. So, yeah, you can plug that there. You can also, it's got a little, so it's not a 5mm one, that, but these weapons that the Prime Master's decoy suits turn into, they do actually remove the guns, and there is a small peg there. So, you can peg this gun because of the weight of this cage, you can't face it forward. It can face it back like it's a big exhaust because, you know. Beachcomber, he don't do guns. He doesn't like guns, does he, Beachcomber? Not me. He's a pacifist. So let's get this Vector Prime out there. Let's do enough of this time travelling. Yeah. So all in all, you know, it's just got some lovely details. And it's a Transformer, so it does transform. Boy, does this guy transform. Right. So flip this down. Flip that down. Put these roll cage up. Separate his legs, separate his arms, bend them at the elbows, move this bit up, push all that down, done. Done, dilla dum, dilla dum. Absolutely perfect. Now, all this grey bit on his body, that is, it's all painted, that is a black bit of plastic you can tell by the ball joint so that's a weird choice but it has given it rather than these other bits of grey plastic it's given it a lot more depth and then they've painted over the top of that paint and applied tampographs the head sculpt is again like I said last night with the figures that I didn't like so much the head sculpts are always pretty much bob on and he's got an absolutely brilliant head sculpt and on a brilliant toy. 
They've painted his fists. <laughs> it's, um, on this level, doesn't often happen, which I really like. So he's got big grasping fists, but like we say, he doesn't really do guns or claws, you know, whatever. It's not Cliff Jumper's style, so I don't know what accessories we'd like to have with him. Maybe a little nice um, sun parasol and a taco. It'd be more like his speed. Yeah. So he's got ball joints here, ball joints there, a swivel at the head. Um, no waist articulation, but nice ball joint back here. At his hips, got a thigh swivel. And because this goes falls all the way in car mode, the deepest knee bend. So he's got a lot of play to him. It's just so much fun. And the plastic, this plastic is a lot thicker than those used on the higher end of the line. And it's used on the Legend class figure. And it's like they're really constantly just knocking it out of the park with these Legends class figures and kind of dropping the ball on the higher price point ones. It doesn't make any sense. But this guy is brilliant. Is a great salve for the disappointment that I've had with the rest of the wave of figures. Of just saying, here you go, Richard. We'll demonstrate that we still know how to make an absolutely fantastic Transformer. Simple, fun, playable. And that's why is this week's Transformer of the Week. Join me next week and there'll be more Transformers and more weeks. And until then, feel free to like, comment and subscribe. Or you might not be able to because you don't have a YouTube account or whatever. But Or you might want to do the opposite. It's up to you. Freedom of choice and all that, man. And be happy. Like the beachcomber would say. Party on. Be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. And because you deserve it, let's do a fist bump. Bestow! Fisto!